Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. I'm in beautiful British Columbia, Abbotsford, BC. I just came back from Chilliwack and dealing with the Chilliwack knowledgeable city we have there. So my question is this, how much money did Rob Isaac, an engineer, and staff make in the city to buy their yachts and boats using their uniform and credentials that we could do it. So here's what the Chilliwack City engineers and staff said. Engineers are supposed to enforce the integrity of the road. Engineers and bylaws are supposed to make sure proper and harm is not put the general public in harm's way. This is Rob Funk, Rob Funk of the Verse. His organized criminal establishment. I want to make that clear. When Rob Funk really put Ross Siemens' signs here, Bill Vanderzam said, nobody, a developer, cannot do that, period. Make it clear to the electoral officer who was stealing your signs, but don't tell him you're watching him. And Dave Sadu and Dave Lowens, that meant when Ross was in, through Henry, through Ross, Rob Funk, Henry's partner, would still be allowed to carry his criminal cartel, a building of empire, to get her over to Abbotsford residence. When Darren Brown showed me how Mike DeYoung and Ed Fast were tied to Henry Brown and how Pamela Alexis was not an opposition party against the BC Liberals, but they were working together behind residents' back. Nobody was supposed to find this out. And special groups were getting money from the province versus the community. Jobs weren't going to tendering. Shit hit the fan. Today I want to show you, Ross Siemens, the neighbor said down here, been called the city all morning and Magna. Remember them dump trucks in Granada Farm? All morning on the illegal of what Rob Funk is doing. He changed the zoning from 220 units to 455, knowing that he paid Ross's campaign. Rob Funk was Henry's partner and said, nobody is gonna fucking stop me from getting that fucking development. Engineer doesn't apply. I paid for Rob Isaac and the city staff. I paid fucking bylaws. But I wanna make this clear. Remember Gabriel? The electoral officer that stole them signs. And I complained as the mayor candidate that that was illegal. And Rob Funk was buying himself these jobs through Henry. That was true. I just had to wait for it. Rob Funk's empire was going to be big. Then he started a show suite to sell 455 units. I want you to look at the illegal act. Day after day. Not only that, the city staff told me this morning Nancy Friesen was shitting her drawers. He said she changed her underwear a five, 500 times this morning. She was like, oh my God, I can't keep this down. You know who it was called? So let me tell you who it was called. Remember Gertie Purdy, the Abbotsford police officer that set Henry's organized hit and run up. He said, I control all the roads. I control everything. I enforced the whole fucking thing. Pretty Purdy. Pretty Purdy's ass was called out with his filthy commander. Cauliflower is on the illegal act. So that high road is another one of the seals. It comes to the cars are going right now. There's no flaggers. These little kids all walk through that whole zoning there. See that zoning? See these little kids walk in that whole zoning. And the dump trucks come ringing around there constantly. But there's no first aid, there's no safety officers, and there's nobody on site to be doing this. When the first is allowed to carry out its criminal actions day in and day out because it paid the city officials off and it bought and paid for our mayor to be in office, Ross Seamus. When Bruce Bamman was called out about the chicken manure, he stood up for the residents and he fired staff and everybody. This ain't happening because they cannot say no once you sold your soul to the developer. Watch these dump trucks leave. I'm gonna show you. This morning there was 27 of them in here. Rob Funk has no choice but to get this building up. 
And last night, I want to mention, as you watch these talks leave behind me, last night, the BC and the federal conservative candidates were hosted by Abbotsford residents to deal with what the Abbotsford police did for threatening Henry, city councils in Henry's house, jobs lifts, and everything. But the upper body of government, the provincial and federal MLAs, were linking and helping the mayors for this organized compound. Watch the note truck leave. The flaggers know nothing. Rob Funk is setting up his empire. It's insider trading. The mayor was called out for almost a month straight. Ross can shut your bloody mouth, Ross. Rob Spunk said, shut your filthy, dirty, goddamn mouth, Ross, and get down on your hands. I tell you what to do. Let Cor Stuart Olson, Intertech, Cressy, Mondial, Bruno Wall, Peter Wall, everybody knows that is illegal. It's insider trading. It has Henry Braun, who's Rob Funk's partner, Mike Beyond, if you go into history, Mike Beyond, Rob Funk, and diverse, they're all friends. Nobody can call anybody out. Their money sits tied up there. They need these illegal units. But day after day, like the Chilliwack staff said in its department, they controlled all the infractions down to keep the company. They did insider trading, and this Chilliwack said it's no foregone conclusion. City engineers been paid off, and city enforcement's been paid off. And that is a clear thing. You can't put the general public in harm's way. And Ross will be at his gas station crying, and Henry will say, Ross, you need just to hold in there. I'll tell Nancy what to do. Here's a man that went to Kamloops. He tried to tell a man that the Kamloops mayor is being threatened and being bullied. And when he used the Abbots for police. So remember when Gertie Purdy was supposed to enforce everything, the roads, the bylaws, and everything. And he removed a protest on houses out of the city parking lot that went uptown. So Henry Brown was his license car. He had run and kill somebody. Pretty pretty every morning. With the police chief, cauliflower ears, taking pretty pretty's face and slamming his head into the wall. Because it's illegal to be doing this. It's criminal. So last night I want to tell you what happened. Last night at the function with the Conservatives and everybody being host, Mike DeYoung and Henry Brown need to know who was there. Who came from Ottawa to listen to them homeowners? Who was all there? What's going on? Is there shit in their doors? Henry couldn't get up there. Henry knew, I knew by Darren Brown, not to let any pictures out of who's there so Henry can go, that's Pierre Pollyhead's right hand guy if this gets out. They need to load Mike. Mike is working hard, a dirty, filthy liberal that did this. And look at Mike today, he was with the verse. He couldn't get them pictures out. He don't know how many of that massive crowd. It was well protected where the BC and the federal conservatives were there. Here's what he did. Witness. At the function, the Abbotsford police came by in their Ford black SUV holding their head out the window like a pedophile, taking pictures and then they ran. When I saw that, and it got witnessed, I went up to the creep and I said, what the hell are you doing? Mom, 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 what are you doing? Henry sent you to take pictures. If you wanted to know what's here, Mrs. Brown was invited, so was Mrs. Siemens, so was Ross's dad, they were all invited. So he sent the Abbots for police. This morning I checked. The Abbotsford Police staff said there was no official police business in that area last night. I said not only there was no official police business, they had their head out the window with their phones in their hands, video filming to see who was in that crowd for the Federals and Provincial Conservatives to take it back for Mike DeYoung. This is what they were doing. These are the nine, I believe, officers that were involved in Henry's hit and run in the illegal act, the high staff. Staff sergeant said there was no reports for any of our officers up there. These are the legal guys behind the scenes that ran Henry's hit and run. These are the legal guys that threatened to drop lawsuits. This is what Abbotsford's true mayor must do. He must make a press conference and call it. That's why I'm here today. Insider trading, it's fraud. Every developer from Ledford to Stuart Olson knows it's insider trading. 
Henry is trying to get Mike DeYoung loaded fast. Buy him the nomination, knowing it's a federal conservative riding your ear. Took a filthy man that had the legal cause of criminal acts. Mike was with the verse. Mike was in the establishment for a long time. That is illegal. Rob Funker, no front. That is illegal. And the Chilliwack staff told me today, engineers and bylaws, Abbott for police and everybody are not enforcing that major connection in that road because Henry Brown controlled it all. It was about building an empire. It was no longer a city representing itself. He was controlling the money to come in to go to designated groups. It was no longer out. Nobody was. You could see that when Henry used Pam to pull Riverside out under the proposal and Pam didn't use her leverage as Minister of Ag to close down the Mackenzie Bog and fire when people were being sick. So you knew she was using her special ag minister to get development. Rob Funk, this is insider trading. I wanted to make this for the Federal Conservatives to see that Mike Beyond is with Rob Funk and diverse. Look at this. And Mike Beyond is only coming into the Conservative Party for, to save the audits and the criminal act. This is illegal. The proposal was illegal. Running Mayor Ross Siemens by diverse, Dave Lowings and Dave Snoop. They're taking the city. Rob Hunt took his staff, project managers and superintendents, into Dave Snoop's office at the cathedral to do all the phone calling to load. And this was his favor over Abbott's for community and organized crime. To the police chief, I thought Gertie Purdy knew the laws. I thought Gertie and Purdy, look at that truck jam. Look at it sitting there, jammed. No flaggers, no nothing. I thought Gertie pretty this. How many criminal illegal units is the chief getting? I tell you, as a bloody mayor chief, I go hold an open camera out with everybody there, and I smash your head into the table and pull you up, and I smash you again and pull you up, and I smash you again and pull you up. George Ferguson, George Perry, Bruce Behrman, this was our community, ours, and not some filthy goddamn mob that thought that organized crime was the way to make money. But hey, the Abbotsford police back on their fucking heels. And they got an ad out, ladies and gentlemen. You want to join the police? Can you see yourself in this uniform? Can you see yourself stealing gas out of cop cars? Can you see yourself picking up hookers? Can you see yourself threatening residents to drop a lawsuit? Can you see yourself ringing people's houses so you can block an election for Ross Siemens? Can you see yourself jumping on cop cars? Can you see yourself raising dots charges in the middle of the winter? Can you see yourself punching somebody in the face? Can you see yourself picking somebody up and elbowing? Can you see yourself going up to Heist or up to Yale, going through an African-American's backside? Pack and treating them bad. Can you see yourself doing this? Then you need to join the Abbotsford police in being gangs. That's a complete, complete bunch of shit. If you can see yourself as an honorable, respectful human being about your community, morals and ethics and values, then stand up. That fucking uniform was bought and paid for by fucking criminal activity. And the Abbotsford chief was hosed in here to clean up the criminal activity. Henry Brown got in that car and tried to end my life. Gertie Purdy, who said he enforced everything, covered it. Then when I was going to speak with all the witnesses, Henry loaded Ross Siemens, then he loaded the election, and he blocked everything because he figured he was isolating it. Let me make it clear, without Darren Brown's super knowledge and his help and everything, look at all that traffic over there and everything. To Rob Funk, it's insider trading. Nobody gets away with it. An Abbotsford judge said nobody's above the law, nobody can use the law, nobody can bend it. He said, wait a minute, Mr. Pelican, nobody thinks at the end, they only think at the beginning of what they can grab. Law, grab, grab. The federal and conservative candidates made it clear. Building or no building, it's being done illegal. And it's all commenced illegal. Nobody should do this. Where's Rob Isaac? Look at this shit come again. Where's Rob Isaac? Rob Funk sold illegal sites. I believe now he's done this through Abbotsford with Henry. It's far gone that he's taken it into Chilliwack. It's organization of criminal activity. 
These are the pricks that went after the South Asian dump trucks in the Indos for parking on land. This is the ship that Rob Isaac and Nancy Friesen said, would you like your name out there? Let me tell you, Nancy, when Henry said, why you want to help that dumb brown Hindu cow, me and you should work together. Well, he was kicking her to the wall. I never looked back, thanks to the RCMP. Rob Funk, how many units are going to the police chief? How many units are going to Mike Beyond? How many units are going to that? I like to close today. One special thing. This is the Abbotsford newspaper, Vicky Holtz, that thought, I can load elections with bug eyes. As bad as Ed Fast was, and helped Henry, and did what he did to Abbotsford residents, his long history of what he accomplished from council to conservative member, Paper. Because Ed said to Henry, it's gone too far. And they kicked the shit out of that MLA. Or that MP to load that MLA, Mike Beyond. Even I would have to say, Ed, your fucking screw ups or what you did to Abbotsford resident calls for the law and it's got to be called out. But you should have been posted every day in the newspaper to be commemorated for the good stuff when your heart and soul was good. But they didn't. They pushed you right out of the way, pissed all over you, and only promoting Mike DeYoung. That there, even Chilliwack staff said, and other people said, now we know what Vicky Hopes and Ken were about for Henry Brown. Henry, Cal Ross, I got you covered in all the back doors. This, even a former mayor, Bruce Bannon, will tell you, this fucking shit's illegal. This is endangering the fucking community. How many? Engineer Rob Isaac, He's probably over in the Bahamas getting his big luxury boat together and his Allaire jet. They were using that city to strong arm it over the general community for what they want. It's illegal, Rob Funk. It's insider trading. You paid and bought Ross Siemens, and thanks to Darren Brown, it was easy to find. That shit is insider trading. And everybody who works honest and hard has to call it out. Led Corps, Stuart Olson, Cressy, Mondials, and everybody. Rob Funk will be headhunting to get into the federal conservatives. And he'll be behind Mike Beyond to load the criminal to get him in. I'm live at the verse. Thanks to Chilliwack staff and Chilliwack people. Today, you can see it all. Look at the criminal eye. Look at it, Magna. I want you to look at it, Magna. I want you to set your eyes on it. I want you to show Ross Stevens. I want Ross's dad to see it and Ross's family to see it. I want you to see it that it was about the organization of a criminal mob that saw Abbotsford residents to kick them and brutalize them. Look at that fucking shit. Look at that shit carry on. And the poor hub boy crying his eyes out again. As Abbotsford's mayor, I told you, it's insider trading, it's racketeering, it's fraud. Henry Brown crossed the law. When he got in that car and tried to end my life, Henry Brown crossed the law when he blocked the election. Henry Brown crossed the law, and there's no going back from it. And today, Abbotsford police on their fucking hands again. You know where they are today, ladies and gentlemen? They can't enforce the road with Gertie Purdy. They're down there picking the hooker up today, getting their afternoon break in. This is where Abbotsford police are. Down there. Live on Rob Punch Park. I'm live Rob Punch Park. here, Sage. Rob, Rob, I got a message from all developers. You need to have the foundation in by Monday morning. You need to get the building up to get sympathy. You need to start it now. You need to go into the city and tell Rob Isaac, the engineer, I paid Ross's campaign. That shit goes through, and I'll put you in the river. Bye. Habits for BC.